Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Premier League review of the past weekend. Uh, it might be even a tad more than a Premier League review. Uh, not that I will show you any results, but I need to mention it. Uh, Manchester City is having actually a pretty bad week. Not only have they lost this weekend, but they also are eliminated from the uh, Carabao the League Cup, which, you know, my feelings about the league cup but four time defending champions out that seems to be remarkable so i just wanted to have uh, that mentioned but yeah i think this round is really characterized by some top teams that were struggling getting some surprise results and one of those surprise results were delivered by the team that i'm wearing probably the biggest one of them all the biggest one of them all not probably the biggest one of them, crystal palace going to manchester and snatching a win um, but yeah I would say we'll jump into it I have a few teams to talk about the uh, reason I'm doing now the Premier League first is of course because I have already I, did, I shot the entire Premier League review the first video of which you will get on Wednesday uh, Jersey re uh, review so first one you get on Wednesday and we'll take it then from there uh, for the next two weeks and now we're gonna jump in uh, it started actually early with a, a quite impressive results by Arsenal at Leicester uh, 2-0 and it was very 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 quickly I mean uh, Gar Gabriel I think he had had it in the fifth minute um, gave uh, Arsenal a lead and then uh, Smith Rowe not too long there that thereafter just slams it in uh, and give Arsenal a 2-0 Leicester did their best to come back but uh, they did not have, <laughs> uh, they did not count on Aaron Ramsdale having a day for the ages, uh, especially when he saved the free kick. That was a save, and then uh, even the follow-up. I mean, first of all, the, the free kick save, he just reaches it and gets it on the cross, but then falls down and all uh, the kind of rebound. He still gets his hand, and so that the ball uh, rolls slowly on the line and stops there, where it can be cleared by the defense. Uh, as I said, Leicester tried, but Aaron Ramsdale held Arsenal in there, and Arsenal overall probably deserved even deserving of the win. And it is so funny because after the first three matches, we thought all oh, their yeah, Arsenal might actually be relegated or whatever, and now Arsenal actually looking quite good for some reason. Um, Another team that everyone said looks quite good and correctly so is of course Liverpool, uh, who have you know not only seen ruling Manchester United but in general being on a really really good form. And again, uh, it seemed like they they were not necessarily the much better team, but they were at least at the beginning very ruthless with uh, Henderson scoring the first, and then uh, I don't want to say against the run of play, but it was a little bit too high when Mane scored the second and twenty to, to fourth. You really had to fear for Brighton at the point, uh, who you know. I'm really starting to like what Graham Potter, I'm not starting to like, I, I always, um, I'm saying this wearing a Crystal Palace shirt, I always uh, thought that Graham Potter is a very undervalued manager uh, within the Premier League, one that is uh, ready for, I think, a bigger club already. Uh, they There was a goal by Mane this allowed, so he scores the second one, and you think every, everyone's going uh, their way. Uh, Mane scores the second one, but it was ruled out for handball in the build-up. Uh, and if that one would have gone in, Liverpool would have backed the three points, then uh, shut up shop in many ways and, you know, concentrate on the Champions League because you have an Atletico game. And uh, this is one thing that I think was looming large in many ways anyway. Uh, you know, Champions League is coming, kind of uh, decisive rounds in many ways. So uh, I think this was kind of an overarching theme for the big teams here. As soon as Mwepo made it 2-1, you knew this will be not a straightforward day, and I think the for Liverpool and then the equalizer by Trossard was a really, really well played uh, one, assist by Lalana, and then act, actually Brighton even smelled a little bit of blood. In the end, it ended 2-2. Definitely points dropped for Liverpool there. However, I think on balance, the game was uh, the the draw was more than deserved. Uh, it's just ahead of the game you would have thought that Liverpool should get another win and assert themselves in the title race. Which is also something we thought for Manchester City. However, very early on, uh, Will 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 Saha miss hits actually the ball and that's why it goes in. And it's 1-0 for Crystal Palace. And City have a really hard time breaking uh, them down, uh, not being their usual selves. And then, uh, yeah, I don't want to say stupid holding, because I think, well, was it Saha who, who would have done the run on goal? He would have been through, but you know, you get a straight red card, which doesn't make it easier. And 
Crystal Palace played it smartly. Uh, an offside goal, admittedly a beautiful one by uh, Gabriel Jesus, was of course disallowed. And then very late on, Gallagher uh, seals the deal and Crystal Palace get another. I think it's not the first time. I think this was not too long ago that they also got a big win. So Crystal Palace at City, there's some history there. And again, Crystal Palace get, get a win. And another one, uh, you know, uh, Arsenal Ledger with Patrick Vieira, another team that actually uh, is perform starting to perform much better than we all thought after the first uh, match days of the season, you know, when they were seemingly not competing against uh, Chelsea, I think in the first or second match day. So uh, a rather interesting start there as well. Chelsea couldn't be bothered. I mean, you thought that sometimes that maybe cannot break, really break down Newcastle, um, Hakim Ziyech, I think, scored uh, an offside as a goal, but as soon as uh, Rhys James in the 65th got the fourth, the first one, there was only one winner. And uh, Rhys James uh, gets his uh, double, and then Jorginho with a penalty, 3-0, and it is Chelsea who are top of the table. The one game that I really spent uh, most of the time watching was, for some reason, Spurs against United. This was the big game, and it sounds like a big game. It was a mid-table clash at that uh, point. And, yeah, I don't think it was a great game. However, it had a great goal, the first goal by Cristiano after Bruno Pass, uh, Finanche Pass. Excellent, excellent work. At that point... I thought that the game was rather level. I mean, Son had a good chance that could have put Spurs in front, and then uh, we may be talking, yeah, could be uh, tough for United. Uh, but I overall felt that United was the more mature team. And this was, I actually expected United to win this game because uh, of the individual brilliance in their squad as co uh, compared to Spurs. Spurs. Does not seem it does not seem like a functioning team, and uh, again, completely uh, opposite narr narrative to their rivals Arsenal, where we thought Spurs, yeah, three wins to start the season, and ever since it does not re go, uh, really go well together. And to me, especially Harry Kane looked positively anemic in that one. As soon as Cristiano set up uh, Cavani to make it 2-0, there was only one winner. I think at that point even I had a really good feeling that uh, United with the, 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 that lead is going to back this win. And Rashford then uh, makes it three. And so Ole continues to have nine lives uh, because now all the critics are backing off. To be honest, if uh, United has good leadership up front, they would have already realized, yeah, it's not quite working. And now let's give him until the Manchester Derby next week and uh, then we'll see whether he will continue or not. Uh, but I think the performance against Liverpool was just so abject. Even in the champ in Champions League, they were more lucky than there's something there. that They actually should be out looking for a replacement already, if you were to ask me. Similar goes for Spurs. Uh, and it seems to be a run for Conte, which in either case I do not quite understand. Graham Potter is right there for the taking. And I think probably more for Spurs so than for United. I think United, um, I don't think uh, Conte will work well at United, honestly. Uh, but you know, maybe he can whip the stars a bit into shape. Uh, for a run into a cup comp comp competition. He will not do anything in Europe, we know that. So yeah, uh, and then yesterday we had Leeds uh, uh, getting a rare win and West Ham United beat, uh, winning 4-1 at Aston Villa and West Ham United is another one. They are after Crystal Palace, the big winners. West Ham United are another one of those, those teams that uh, I don't want to say overperform, but are performing really, 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 really well. Uh, you will see all the standings because we have one game that I uh, have not accounted for yet because it has not been played as I'm shoot, shoot, shooting this video. So you will get all those final results uh, tomorrow in the stats cast. Of course, uh, we have a Manchester Derby coming up. That's the big one. Um, there we also have Everton against Spurs. Uh, kind of, it could be a last game and I th uh, a last game for Nuno. Uh, Spirito Santo and I think West Ham against Liverpool is the sleeper game of the weekend. I think that could very very much see if West Ham United is serious about their Champions League chances. Um, if uh, at the moment I would actually say that uh, it's probably um, United just ahead of West Ham of course but um, West Ham look like the real deal at the moment. So yeah 
those are my thoughts on the Premier League weekend. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.